I should start by shaking my head for this one because I can't quite believe what I've just seen at Wembley. We'll talk about this. So, just about the last person in the stadium. Do you want to have a little look? Let's see now. 90,000 seats of redness. And that's the United end over there. That's where the penalties were. Bring this back down to here now. I mean, one drama. So I've just had an hour. I just spoke to Eric Ten Hag. I spoke to Andre Anana. I spoke to Milan from Coventry. Really interesting interviews because when the game is like that and there's so much tension, you just need to ask very simple questions like, how are you feeling? And it just pours out. And Coventry player was distraught. He said his head was that clouded that he wasn't even thinking straight. Andre Nana said that his tricks won the penalty. Shoot out. I said, what tricks? He said, I'm not telling you. So well, who knows about your tricks then? He said, my teammates know about my tricks. Okay. Well, he worked. Thought he was going to get red carded, to be honest, when he kept time wasting. And I spoke to Eric Ten Hag as well. And I think you'll get a lot of criticism from Manchester United fans after today. Because if you're 3 0 up against the Championship side and you end up conceding three goals, it's not good enough. It's not good enough at all. And there's a final against Manchester City. So, yeah, Manchester United are in another FA Cup final. And that's good, but it does seem very daunting right now. So, do you want some player ratings? Anana. Well, he was quiet as United completely dominated the first 70 minutes. And that was a team who'd scored 19 goals in the FA Cup this season. That was soon 22 goals. Maybe even 23, we thought. Uh, O'Hare's outrageous. Um, shot deflected off Aaron wan -Masaka. and he saved a really fast volley, uh, was beaten for the penalty after 95, but you know, credit in the penalty shootout, I've got to give him 7 out of 10 for his tricks. Um, Diogo Delo uh, needed his pace to get back when his side lost the ball, cross for the opener, perfect actually for Scott McTominay, often an, an overlapping option on the right, um, brilliant as he took the ball from Sims feet on, on 39. And he scored a penalty as well. I'm going to give him a seven. He's full of confidence. I spoke to him briefly after the game. And um, he's on it. But I'm sounding hesitant because I am. Because no team should be offering up, conceding three goals like Manchester United just did. Um, what I did also see was all the commentary players were really keen to swap shirts in the dressing room area after. Five or six of them waiting outside. The United players were obliged. Uh, Harry Maguire had a big chat with a couple of the commentary lads. It's good to see when you see that. Um, oh, and also Harry Maguire. I thought he was. I thought he was excellent today. I thought he was possibly United's best player. I'm going to give him an eight. It pushed high. He hit balls long and short. His goal, the second, was a perfect header, and he looked very emotional. It, and for me, that looked like the killer goal. You've gone two 0 up just before half time. Bang. United had 70% possession in the first half, 11 shots on target to Coventry's one. And even in the second half, when O'Hare went through, he just used his size just to lean into him. I've got major issues with the defence, but not Harry Maguire after his performance today. Casemiro played alongside him, giving him 6 out of 10. He was playing out of position, experience told at times. And there's two games here, right? As United dominated, he'd play. The short balls through Coventry's midfield. He'd get his tackles right, thankfully, because if he didn't, there was no last man. Did well to get a foot in on 90, but he looked shattered in extra time. Um, he did make a block right for 19 minutes in over at an ear um, when the Coventry player should have shot on goal, giving him six. I mean, if you play Casemiro at centre half in the final, uh, Aaron Wambasaka, poor, 
uh, did well to get in front of a Coventry cross after 54 minutes. Coventry changed their formation at half time. They went from three at the back to four at the back. They just went for it and got what they what they went for, goals. And United's heads went. Coventry's fans then just totally came alive. And wan had, had an awful second half. He was up against it when Severas came on. Oh, hair shot deflected off his back. But why, why did he turn his back in the first place? And then there was a penalty. Was it? I don't know. You've seen more than I have. Um, but his arms are away from his penalty, from, from, his, from his body. And that was on 92 minutes. And not a good day. I'm sorry. So four. Kobe Maynou, six, calm. I always make fewer notes about him than anybody else. He's just comfortable running across. Uh, uh, well, we fought Coventry's defenders as he looked to break down the team. Scott McTominay, six, slid the opening goal into an opening net after 23. He's into double figures now for goals this season. Um, that goal allowed United to set the tempo, to slow the game down, to speed the game up, and everything was working absolutely perfectly for 70 minutes. And then bang, one, two, three. Uh, I honestly thought the Coventry goal had gone in. And I had to work and go down into the tunnel area to speak to the players. And I just walked down thinking we're going out the FA Cup here. And as I got pitch side, it came up VAR. So I'm, I'm surrounded by Coventry fans at this moment. And then I, okay. <laughs> and then it went to penalties because the, the, the goal was VAR. And then Casemiro's first penalty, which he missed. I should have mentioned that as well. It wasn't good enough. And we came through. Fernandez seven eight even flicked the ball to Ganacho to set him up on five. Top ball for Maguire's goal. Wasted the pass on fifty four. Why is everything I seem to mention happened in the fifty fourth minute? Um, scored the third on fifty eight. A deflected left foot shot. Also shot off the underside of the bar. Four minutes into time added on. He, he, he's the player who's trying to drag United out of the mess that they keep getting into. Garnacho, well, he was enjoying it, winning him six. Uh, at the, at the, as United dominated, clear for after five. But he was also targeted by Coventry's fullbacks when they got the ball because they probably suspected he wasn't going to defend. Um, shot a well work for he kicked wide on 21, targeted a few times. Marcus Rashford, five. He was involved and he was in a lot of space. Both, both wingers were. Good ball in towards McTominay on 39. Very good shot and save with the side of his foot on 44. Ran at goal on 58 but lost the ball. Bruno picked it up and scored. Uh, faded. Rasmus Hoyland, five. Not involved much. He had a really good chance after 88 when he, he dragged his feet after Bruno had set him up. We need more from him. Um, and another thing on, on Rashford. And I need to see this back, but I don't think he went in strong enough on one of the counter-attacks for the Coventry goal, one of the Coventry's goals. It looked a bit tepid. And the same for Anthony. I'm giving him a four, came on for Garnacho. But his in-game management, his individual um, skills, I just thought were really poor, running towards the wrong area, not holding onto the ball. Christian Eriksen, pretty flat, came on for Kobe Maynard after 72. Ahmad came on for Rashford after 97 minutes. He has a go, Ahmad. I mean, he thrived in this division last year. So why wouldn't he thrive against Coventry City? Actually, they, they played Sunderland in the playoff last year, thinking about it. Forson came on for McTominay. 12 minutes into time added on. He went right as Ahmad went centre. Ahmad, central midfielder. Uh, Forson shot wide after 105. So... United have got to learn to get games over the line and the game management is, is really poor and Ten Hag's frustrated but fans will, will blame him. Uh, Coventry substitutions at half time were excellent. They really worked. Sorry the change of tactics and then the triple substitution which came after that. So commiseration to Coventry. The fans were loud, the fans were proud. The United weren't, weren't great. Chicken and egg in it. Did the team inspire these fans? 
not really. It was dramatic. It'll be remembered as one of the greats. It doesn't feel like that now. It feels almost like defeat. But it wasn't. Manchester United won. Manchester United have won, have reached another FA Cup final. And when our head's clear in a few days, and maybe if we get decent performances, things will start to settle down a bit. But, oof. Until next time, goodbye.